So the first thing that we're going to do is prep and prime and all I'm going to use is just a makeup remover for um, Rimmel and I'm just going to go ahead and just remove all the makeup from my face and then I'm just going to go ahead and use this e.l.f. mineral face primer and I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face and get it ready for some makeup. <laughs> And now we're moving on to the eyes. So the first thing that I'm going to use is my NYX eyeshadow base. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows what everyone uses this for. But this is to help your eyeshadow appear more vibrant. And for the colors that I'm using, it's most definitely going to help. And the first color that I'm using is like a copper color from e.l.f. And I'm just going to put that as my transition color. So I'm just going to put it above my crease and blend it out. And then after that, I'm going to use this Alta color, from, and it's called Thrill Seeker. And I'm going to use the Sonia Kastrick um, Angled Brush. And I'm just going to put that right in my crease, just so it can... It's kind of like a, um, a color fading into the transition color. If you get what I'm saying, you probably don't, but that was pretty bad. But anyway, I'm just going to blend that out into the copper. And then I'm going to take this really light pink from e.l.f. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. And I'm just going to go ahead and use some, some more of that Thrill Secret and put it in my crease a little bit more. Now I'm just going to take this other pink, and I don't know where this um, palette is from, but I'm just going to put that over the pink from the e.l.f. palette. And then I'm going to use this Estee Lauder and, um, Shimmer Eyeshadow. I'm just going to put that right in my ear, inner tear duct. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put some mascara onto my lashes so my real lashes and the false lashes will blend on bet a little bit better. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use this Rimmel, Rimmel Scandalous Waterproof Matte Eyeliner and I'm just going to put that um, on my lower lash line and also on my upper lash line. And now we're going to go ahead to brow. So when you do your brows, you want to remember three spots. You're going to want to remember the beginning of your eyebrow, the arch, and the end. And you're just going to go ahead and follow the, your natural shape of your eyebrow. And this is going to help you kind of have that natural eyebrow look instead of completely drawing on a new eyebrow shape. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use my LA Girl Concealer and Toffee. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of outline the shape of my eyebrows. And the concealer is just going to help me clean it up and make it look like the perfect brow. Because I love perfect brows. <laughs> So what I'm using now is just um, my LA Girl Concealer and I put my foundation on and I used the um, Fit Me foundation and now I'm just going to go ahead and put three different concealers on. This concealer is, I think this one is from CoverGirl, I have the name kind of wiped off. And then I used my LA Girl Concealer and also an e.l.f. concealer and I'm just going to go ahead and put that underneath my eyes just to give me a nice natural highlight. And I'm just going to use this Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer and this is just going to make the highlight this a little bit brighter. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. Cool Bronzer and I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my face. I'm not really contouring, I'm just giving my face this nice, warm, 
type of feel and now I'm just going to use my Too Faced Instant Attitude Brow Lip and I'm just going to put that right underneath my arch just to give my eyebrows this nice clean look. And now I'm just going to go ahead and finish everything up. I just put some lip gloss on and I was going to add just a little bit more bronzer and some blush and that's it. And that's all it is for this look. Thank you.